Welcome to Monday Musings on the Elliot Resnick Show. So, all the busybodies on social media and a bunch of secular Jewish leaders are up in arms now over the alleged anti-Semitic remarks of Kanye West, who now goes by Ye West. I honestly don't know what the big deal is. First of all, it's not clear to me that Kanye West is an anti-Semite. Second of all, even if he is an anti-Semite, so what? What's the big deal? The truth is, most Frum Jews actually don't get agitated when they discover that this or that non-Jew is an anti-Semite. They almost expect it. New, another anti-Semite. We're in Gullus. That's their basic attitude. It's mainly non-Frum Jews who become apoplectic at any sign of anti-Semitism. They don't really believe Hashem chose the Jews for a specific destiny. They don't really believe that anti-Semitism is somehow connected to that destiny. And so they get very distressed when a non-Jew says something anti-Semitic. Right now, Jonathan Greenblatt of the ADL, a secular Jew par excellence, is calling on Adidas, the major clothing company, to cut ties with Kanye West. Why? What will that accomplish? What exactly is the point of getting Adidas to cancel West? I know the potential downside, resentment, and confirmation that the Jews really do control everything. What's the upside, though? How will punishing Kanye make this world a better place? People say we have to quash anti-Semitism when it rears its ugly head. If we don't, it will grow and grow until there are pogroms and another holocaust. Really? You mean if only German Jews had tried cancelling Hitler, the holocaust wouldn't have happened? If only Polish Jews had tried cancelling Polish anti-Semites, Shechita wouldn't have effectively been banned in 1936? The whole thing is absurd. I'm not saying that we should award Kanye West with a television show on Fox Primetime. But what exactly is the point of pressuring Adidas to drop its association with Kanye? To me, it just seems pointless and cruel. Thank God America is a final Semitic country and always has been. Anti-Semitism is considered unacceptable in polite society, and for that too, we should be grateful. But cancel culture is vindictive and dangerous in my opinion. Far more dangerous than Kanye's belief that blacks are the real Jews or that Jews hold disproportionate power in society. If you're scared of America somehow becoming Nazi Germany, it's cancel culture that will take us there, not Kanye West's strange remarks about Jews.